So let's take a look at lesson one and two again. So looking at GCF and simplifying fractions. You will want to have your resource packet out with your factor chart. For some of the problems, we included that already for you. So reminders up here of how to find the GCF. GCF, we're going to list out all the factors. We'll circle the common factors, and the greatest one is the GCF. So let's look at number one. 24, so we already just kind of took a screenshot of 24 and all of its factors. Remember, I kind of wrap around so it goes in order from least to greatest. So one, two, three, four, six, eight, 12, 24. I'm going to do the same thing for 40. I screenshotted the factors of 40 here. So 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 10, 20, 40. Now we're going to go through. We're going to circle all the ones that they have in common. They share 1. They share 2. Not 3, but 4. Not 6, but 8 not 12, not 24. So the highest number that they both share is eight. So their GCF is eight. Let's look at number two. Again, screenshotted the factors of 60 for you. There's a lot, so I'm gonna write small. One, two, three, four, five, six, 10, 12, 15, 20, 30, and 60. And then 75, got it down here. 1, 3, 5, 15, 25, and 75. I'm going to go through and I'm going to circle those that are in common. So we've got 1, 3, 5, not 6, not 10, not 12, 15, not 20, not 30, not 60. So the highest one that they both share is 15. So their GCF is 15. Now let's look at that um, actually having to use a factor chart instead of having the screenshots there. So finding the GCF of 12 and 18. I'm going to write down those two numbers. And then I'm going to find them on my factor chart. So 12, we've got the factors listed right here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. And then 18, I need to scroll down a little bit. We've got our factors listed out here. 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. I'm going to go through, circle those that they share. 1, they share 2, they share 3, not 4, but they share 6, not 12. So the highest number they both share is 6. So now we're going to use this um, finding GCFs to help us with simplifying fractions. Some quick reminders. We're going to find the GCF using our factor chart, divide by, simplify by dividing by the, the numerator and denominator by that GCF. So kind of like we did on the other page, start off here, I'm already giving you the factors. So first thing that we are going to do, we would have used our resource packet, but it's given to us there, is we're going to circle the ones that they share in common. So they share one, not two, not four, they share five, not 8, not 10, not 20, not 40. So the GCF, the greatest common factor is 5. So we're going to take our fraction of 40 and 55 and divide by that GCF of 5. If I don't know what 40 divided by 5 is, I can either use my multiplication chart or I can use my resource packet. On the packet, 5 is above 8. That means those are pairs that multiply to 40. So 40 divided by 5 is 8. For 55, same thing, looking in my resource packet, finding 55. 5 pairs up with 11, which means 55 divided by 5 is 11. 
So our simplified fraction is 8 elevenths. All right, number five, we've got seven and 36 sixtieths. We only need to look at the fraction part right now. So I listed out the factors of 36 and 60. Gonna circle the ones they share. One, two, three, four, six, not nine, 12, not 18, not 36. So their greatest common factor is 12. So that means I'm gonna divide the fraction by 12. The seven is gonna stay the same, so I can write that. Now we're gonna simplify the fraction part. So 36, maybe I know what 36 divided by 12 is. If not, I'm gonna look at my factor chart. The 12 matches up with three, so 36 divided by 12 is three. And 60, again, maybe you know what 60 divided by 12 is, but if not, looking on my factor chart here, under 60, 12 matches up with five, which means 60 divided by 12 is five. So our simplified fraction is seven and three fifths. Now let's try it one more time where you have to list out the factors. So 28 and 63 are the numbers in the fraction. Let's find our factors of 28. So I see them right here. One, two, four, seven, 14, 28. So one, two, four, seven, 14, 28. Same thing for 63. 63, one, three, seven, nine, 21, 63. So one, three, seven, nine, 21, 63. Now we're going to go through, circle those common factors. They share 1, not 2, not 4. They share 7, not 14, not 28. So their greatest common factor is 7. I'm going to write the original fact, the original mixed number, which was 9 and 28, 36. We are dividing by our GCF of 7. Our whole number stays the same, the fraction we are dividing. 28 divided by 7. Well, I'm going to look at my factor chart. 28, where there's 7, it matches up with 4. So 28 divided by 7 is 4. Oops, I wrote 36 instead of 63. Sorry. 63 divided by 7. Find 7 under 63. It matches up with 9. So 63 divided by 7 is 9. So our simplified fraction is 9 and 4 ninths.